if you are looking for a model for background removal from the images then this rmbg is a state of the art new model which is very helpful in removal of the backgrounds it is designed to effectively separate foreground from background in a range of categories and image types this model has been trained on a carefully selected data sets which includes general stock images e-commerce gaming advertising content that makes it very suitable for commercial use cases powering enterprise content creation at scale it is quite lightweight too but still you would need a good gpu plus lot of ram we will also be installing it on our local system and then we will removing a background before that let me give you a bit more information around this model the accuracy efficiency and versatility currently of this model rivals leading source available model it is quite ideal where content safety legally licensed data set and bias mitigations are paramount this has been designed to effectively separate foreground from background in a range of categories and image types as i mentioned the data set which it has been trained on is quite wide and quite realistic this model is released under a creative common license for non commercial use commercial use is subject to commercial agreement with bria who is the developer of this model so this bria rmbg 1.4 is a saliency segmentation model trained exclusively on a professional grade data set this model was trained with over 12000 high quality high resolution manually labeled pixel wise accuracy fully licensed images and their benchmark includes balanced gender balanced ethnicity and people with different types of disability also for clarity they provide their data distribution according to different categories demonstrating their uh, model's versatility so it includes lot of things like text only animals people only people object animal with text and lot of other stuff it is 87% photorealistic which is quite there are a lot of good information which is scattered throughout their hugging face page and if i just scroll you through you can see that this is one of the example where they have removed the background uh, and also have separate out foreground from background and then if you scroll down there are few other examples as you can see on the left there is this original image and then on the right the background has been removed now let's try to get it installed on our local system and then we will see how it performs i will be using my ubuntu system for it so let me log in there quickly this is my ubuntu system and i am running ubuntu 22.04 there are two pre prerequisites which i have installed one is transformers and the other one is pillow for the image manipulation so i have latest version of transformer 4.39.3 and i also have pillow installed and of course i have the pytorch let me clear my screen and let me launch my python interpreter there we are going to install it first let's import the auto model for image segmentation for this model then let's specify our model and this is the model which we are going to use enter let's wait for it to load the model it is going to take a bit of a time you can see that uh, the tensors are 176 m and now let me define a function for image preprocessing it's simple python function this is a function for pre-processing the images this function prepares an input image for a pytorch model which is our rm um, bg by ensuring it has three color channels if if it is grayscale converting it to a float tensor and rearranging its dimensions <clears throat> it then resizes the image to match the specified model's input size using bilinear interpolation after resizing the image tensor is normalized by dividing by 255 and further normalized to a range of 0 0.010 using the normalized function with mean which it is specified and standard deviation 
the processed image tensor is returned as the output. The, this function is typically used to pre-process images before feeding them into our RMBG model. So let me run it. I had to rerun that function a couple of times because I forgot to import the numpy as you can see in this line. So I did that then I had to import the torch. But now it is done. So let's define another function which will be post processing our image. So this will be the function. Let me first create it and then I will explain what exactly is happening in this one. So this is our post processing function for image. And in this function, it is taking a tensor result generated by our RMBG model and resizes it to match the specified im underscore size using bilinear interpolation. It then performs min max normalization on the result, scaling the values to the range 0, 1. The normalized tensor is then multiplied by 255 to scale the values to the range 0 to 255. Next, the tensor's dimensions are rearranged using permute and then the tensor is converted to a numpy array, which is then converted to type np.uint8. The resulting numpy array is, result, is, result, is returned after squeezing any singlet and dimension. This function is used to convert the output tensor of a model back to a displayable image format after the inference. Let's specify our device. So as I mentioned earlier, I am using one GPU. So I will be, of course, using CUDA. You can use it with CPU if you like. But I always prefer to use GPU if it is possible. So I have put it my model to the device. That is fine. And now let's prepare our input, which is primarily an image which I'll be using. So this is the image path. And let me quickly show you the image too, which I'll, I'll be using for this. So this is the image which I will be using for this model. And this is what will be pre-processing and removing. Let's go back to our uh, model and in terminal. So I have read this image and stored it in this original image. Let's also get the size of the image with the shape. And now let's pre-process the image and then we will store it in this image variable. Okay guys, I had to pause the video because there was some missing piece in the code provided in the repo. So what was the missing piece after like couple of hours spending it turns out that they had defined they missed to define this function normalize so i have defined this function in the pre-process image function which i have declared above so if if you are using the same command i'm using make sure that then you use this normalize function you won't find it on their hugging page okay so eventually i was able to produce this image um pre-process this image and then simply all we need to do is to pass the model to this and then put the result in so i'm going to let it run and then i will show you the result so bear with me it is running at the moment it will take a bit of a time and now we have the result eventually let me show you after pre-processing it of course so i have stored the resultant image in this result underscore image variable and now let me show you the resultant image which I have downloaded from my terminal and put it in the browser. So this was the original image and when we ran it through our model on locally, then this was the resultant image. How good is that? So it has removed the whole background from it. Original and then this is the uh, background. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.